Rush Limbaugh, the face of the Republican Party. At least that's how some Democrats want it. White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel calls Limbaugh the voice and intellectual force and energy behind the GOP. Press Secretary Robert Gibbs says Limbaugh's a national spokesperson for conservative views. This after Limbaugh recently repeated his claim that he wants President Obama to fail. It also comes at the same time as a dust-up of sorts within the conservative ranks between Limbaugh and Michael Steele, the chairman of the Republican National Committee. Over the weekend, Steele called Limbaugh an entertainer whose comments are ugly. Needless to say, Limbaugh's had a field day with the finger pointing, going after both the Democrats and Steele on his radio show. Limbaugh insists he's not in charge of the GOP, doesn't want to be in charge, says considering the sad state of the Republican Party, if he was in charge as chairman, he'd quick. As for Steele, Limbaugh suggests he appears to be supporting President Obama and Nancy Pelosi, and that he's being used by the liberal media. Well, after Russia's millions of listeners heard that, it took Steele about three minutes to start backpedaling and reach out to Rush Limbaugh to say, I'm sorry, that his words came out wrong, that he has enormous respect for Rush Limbaugh, and that what he actually meant was that a lot of people want to make Limbaugh the bogeyman when he's not. Steele said today he's talked with Limbaugh and, quote, we are all good. <laughs> He better hope so. Here's the question. Who's running the Republican Party, the RNC or Rush Limbaugh? Go to CNN.com slash Cafferty file and post a comment on my blog. Get ready, oh. Jack. You're going to get a lot of comments. <laughs> already have. Yeah, that was, the top, that was the top email getter of the three questions I'm already. I'm sure today. it was. I have yeah. no doubt. Ah, uh, yes. The question this hour is, who's running the Republican Party? Is it the RNC or is it Rush Limbaugh? Ray in Indiana writes, I don't know if Limbaugh is running it or not, but apparently anyone Republican who says anything remotely critical feels compelled to apologize to him. The fact that they feel the need to apologize to someone who spews hatred and division for a living tells me all I need to know about the party of values. W in Salt Lake City, being a trucker's wife, I can tell you Russia's audience, 99% truck drivers. It's their only entertainment. The best part is they don't vote. My husband believes every word Rush speaks. After 30 years of marriage, I can tell you he has never voted, nor have any of his trucking buddies. Matthew in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Running? No. Dividing? Yes. Michael Steele was chosen to lead the GOP because it's in shambles. They've lost control of the White House and Congress, and their voter base is waning as people like Rush drive away women, blacks, Hispanics, and almost everyone who isn't a wealthy white man. B writes, it may not be pretty, but it is pretty obvious. Rush Limbaugh speaks for the GOP, a party without conscience or direction, a collective voice which has expressed a desire to see the government fail in its obligation to act upon the will of the people. This is the message the GOP has chosen to represent the party going into the next decade. Ja in Tallahassee, Florida writes, Rush Limbaugh is the only person to come along in many, many years who tells the truth and doesn't care if anybody is offended. It would be a boon to the Republican Party if they would push for Rush to be their candidate for president in 2012. He sure has my vote. Andrew in Tucson, Rush is at his best when he's portraying himself as the victim. Mainstream media has taken the bait. He's become the story, so he's happy. And Ann writes from Charleston, South Carolina, so far I think the RNC is running the Republican Party. The only thing Rush Limbaugh is running is his mouth. If you didn't see your email here, you can go to my blog at cnn.com slash Cafferty file. Look for yours there. We got uh, probably a couple of thousand letters on just this one topic. And, and Jack, you're going to be.